thank you so much, Eric, and um, Alex, and Will. It was a perfect segue, and it definitely wasn't planned that way, um, but talk, I'm gonna be talking about connecting your career to your purpose, and if there were two people that are connected to their purpose, it's these gentlemen and your whole team of people. So I'm Joanne Newborn. I'll tell you just a little bit about me. Um, my company is Newborn Evolution and we do leadership, executive coaching, consulting, and training. However, uh, before I had my company, I spent 18 years in the wine and spirits business, so I'm very happy to be at a distillery right now. <laughs> but you also might be thinking, how on earth did you go from being in sales and marketing in the wine and spirits business to running a company that does consulting and leadership coaching? So um, I'm gonna get to that. We're gonna do an exercise together to help everyone start to connect to their purpose if you're not already. But I wanna read a quote, um, and I kept writing it down because I, for some reason, can't remember it. But this is from Pablo Picasso. And he said, the meaning of life is to find your gift. And the purpose of life is to give it away. And I think that is such a beautiful quote because when we start to really tap into those things that are really going on inside of us, we really start to connect to our purpose. And um, there was a study done by the Harvard Business Review and what they found was a bit shocking. 20 I think it was less than 20% of leaders are actually connected to their purpose. Think about that, less than 20%. So that means that 80% of leaders in the United States are doing something that they don't feel connected to, that doesn't make them happy, that they're doing because they should be doing it. And that's what happens a lot of times. We end up going into careers because our parents told us that we should do this, or maybe our teachers in college told us we should do this, um, or maybe our friends told us that we should do this. And um, I'm gonna defer to something Dominic said earlier today. We're, we end up shooting all over ourselves. <laughs> And that is not actually a good thing because you may feel disconnected from the vision of your organization. You may feel disconnected from the people, your colleagues around you. Um, uh, Berkeley uh, College, they actually had also done a study and they came out with a paper and they had said, we are living, and this was before the pandemic even, we are living in a crisis of isolation because we are not connected to our purpose. So what does that mean? Now even more, because we have so many people that are working remotely, we feel very disconnected to the people around us. And we also were walking into offices and we could be surrounded by people all around us and yet we feel lonely and alone. So the thing about purpose that is so amazing is that it actually not only helps us connect intrinsically to our strengths and to what we really love to do, but it helps us to connect to others because now we start to find like-minded people, right? Kind of like all of us in this room, right? We start to connect to our tribe. And when we're not connected to our purpose, they can't find us and we can't find them, right? If I'm doing a job that I should be doing, but the people that I really wanna be connecting with are somewhere else, we can't find each other. So being connected to our purpose helps us to connect to each other as well. Um, another study that was done, and this was in the Harvard Business Review as well, that doctors have done studies and they found that people that are connected to their purpose have better mental health and physical health. So it's not just words on paper, right? It's really something that is real and we can start to do that by really thinking about the things that make us feel good. 
Now, someone said to me, you know, like, oh, I love to go to like mine and um, paint, you know, paintings. Is that, does that mean that's my purpose? <coughs> Probably not. But we really want to start to think about um, thinking intrinsically about where do your strengths lie and are you really tapping into those strengths? And what are the things that really make your heart sing when it comes to your career? Now, I'm going to um, take a, so you should all have a piece of paper like this um, on all of your tables or near you. And it, it says on here, aligning with your purpose. So we'll get, we'll get to that in a moment. But I wanted to just share something that I do with all of my clients in terms of finding their purpose. Because you might be sitting there looking at me going, I don't even really know what purpose is. I don't know what my purpose is. And that's OK. When I started doing this work, and it was a road to higher knowledge. Um, I didn't know what my purpose was. I didn't even know what it was. And so my purpose became to find my purpose. And that's OK for right now, because that'll change over time. So if that's your starting point, that is perfect as well. So one of my clients, we, we did this exercise. And it wasn't, you're going to write down five things that really like resonate with your heart, that really make your heart sing or things that you just really want in your career in 2024. So I did this with my client, and she said to me, um, and it's, it's not I want this job or this much money. It's usually not that. She said, I want a boss that's really going to be supportive and have my back. I want to have a team again. She was working for a startup, and she felt very lonely. She felt like an, on an island all alone. So I'd like to have a team that I can work with again. And she said, I really miss traveling. She said, I want to get on the road and travel again. I love traveling. So she put about five of these things together. And within a really short period of time, we found her perfect role. So um, again, I want you to just start like marinating on this while I tell you the next story. Because I started to do this for myself back in 2015. So I was in a role that I liked, but there were things about it that I, I didn't really like. So I took a piece of paper out and I wrote five things that if I had my druthers, and people are like, what's druthers? If I, if I could have whatever I wanted in terms of my career, what would I want? So one was, I was in the wine and spirits business and I loved it. So I wanted to stay in the, in the business that I was in. Two, uh, I wanted to be making more money. Than I, and I didn't say how much, I didn't put a number to it, I just wanted to be making more money. Three was I was traveling all the time, nonstop, and I was really exhausted. So I said, I'd like to have a job where I travel, but just not as much as I am right now. Um, I also was expected to be in the office um, on the days that I wasn't traveling. So it was a bit of a long commute, and I was really exhausted. I said, you know what, I'd love to be able to work from home a couple of days a week. And the last thing I wrote down was, I'd love to go to yoga every single day. I'd love to have a lifestyle where I can do that. I put the piece of paper away. I didn't do anything. I didn't do my resume. I didn't look for a job. I just wrote these five things down, and I put it aside. Forgot about it, even. Three weeks later, my phone rings, and it's an executive recruiter with a job that fit all five things on my list, because I put it out there into the universe. It it made my heart sing. Um, I, it was a little bit of a long journey. It took three months till I got that job, but I got that job. I got a 40% increase in pay, and I had a team of people that I was now managing. And that, what I didn't know, was at the time my purpose, because I had had a bad experience as a manager, and I wanted to go back to being an individual contributor. And really, I was quite good at leadership, which I'm very passionate about, and leading a team. So that's kind of, it kind of leads you in a sneaky way to where your purpose is. Um, I will tell you, I did this again a few years later, and just in doing this exercise, I tripled my six-figure income in just a handful of years. Um, so I want everyone to just take a couple of minutes right now to write down your five things. And if you, if you want to 
think about it tonight. You can do that too. You can change your mind. It's, it's not like you're you know, locked into it forever. But the important thing about it is that we're moving towards the things that are making us happy. And a lot of times when we're entrepreneurs and we're business owners, we tend to move in that direction. But you can also do this in your careers if you work for an organization and really being connected to the vision of your organization, the vision that you want to have as a leader in your organization. And when I say leader, everyone is a leader, whether you're managing your team or not. We can all be game changers. It's amazing how much power we have and how much we can be empowered when we really connect to what makes our hearts sing. So I will be here if people have questions. I encourage you to fill this in this evening and I will be talking to you all later. Thank you so much. Thank you.